All right, NFC South, it's time for your draft grades. But before we begin, Vegas, people seemed upset that you didn't get detention in the last episode. So for all those watching who wanted to hear it, Vegas, that's detention. Thanks a lot. We'll kick things off with Tampa. Kalijah Kansi should be an elite pass rusher, and trading up for Cody Mock was a nice move. You added some talent on a D-line throughout the draft, so I'm giving you an A, but I can't say I'm not concerned about your quarterback situation. Hey, to anyone that's concerned about our quarterback situation, I got two words for you. Uh, dude, you're wearing an NWO-inspired shirt, but you're about to quote the X. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, Tampa, why are your quarterbacks roaming the halls making attitude error references? I don't know. Actually, Tampa, Kyle Trask is right. If Baker's wearing that shirt, he should be quoting the NWO, not the X. I mean, they're all members of the clique anyway. What's the big deal? And that's the reason why he'll never be successful in this league. Oh, I hear that. Okay, Baker's had to learn six different offenses in six years. Maybe we could excuse him for getting his heel stable a little mixed up. Never. For it is inexcusable. I agree with New England, by the way, and Carolina is horseman country, so you better not wear that shirt when you come to Charlotte. Hey, Carolina, I got two words for you. Baker, get out of here. Oh, hey, Carolina, before I forget, uh, Kyler Murray called. He wanted me to tell you your quarterback is short. He said that. He really called you and said that. Arizona, is this true? Kyler, did you call Tampa and make a crack about Bryce Young's height? <laughs> I know we ever heard of undead Nazis on our ass right now. Why are you yelling at me? Carolina's the one asking. Well, Tampa's the one that said he said it. Tampa, Kyler says if you have anything to say to him, you can log into Black Ops Cold War and say it to his operator's face. If I may continue, please. Carolina, Bryce Young may be undersized, but it's tough to knock you for taking the draft's top-rated passer. And Jonathan Mingo is one of my favorite receivers in this class. I'm not too excited about some of the defensive players you took, but overall it wasn't a bad draft. I'm giving you a B+. On to New Orleans who, since acquiring their new quarterback, might want to consider changing their name from the Saints to the Goths. The New Orleans Goths. That's actually not a bad idea. And what's your new logo going to be? A pale teenager dressed in black wearing eyeliner? Well, if it's done properly, it could be pretty badass. In what dimension would that be considered badass? Now, just hear me out. We make it so he looks exactly like Rip from Death Note. Oh, f me, you know, that actually would be pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Why don't you shut up? The Goths were formidable warriors, therefore New Orleans is unworthy of bearing their name. You know what, New England? I don't think you're talking about the same Goths the rest of us are talking about. The Goths I refer to are the only Goths worth mentioning. Oh, like, you know anything about the Goths. I know everything about the Goths. And what, we should just take the word of some future telling device truther? Visigoths was the name given to the Western tribe of Goths who mounted a successful invasion of the Roman Empire, ultimately defeating them in the Battle of Andrianople in 378 AD. There is a frightening amount of knowledge stored under that hood. Atlanta, I could have told you all that and used about half the words. Lies! Okay, thank you for the history lesson, New England. New Orleans, I like the Brian Breesey pick in the first, but not the Isaiah Foskey pick in the second so much, especially since Keon White was still on the board. Kendra Miller was a nice pickup, though, so I'm giving you a solid B. On to Atlanta! <laughs> Uh, attention all students and faculty, Tom Brady says he will not come out of retirement to play for the Las Vegas Raiders this season. Okay, well, th that's actually not confirmed yet. It's still kind of open-ended, we hope. Vegas, we heard it from Tom Brady himself. He is not playing. Well, you can't trust everything Tom Brady says. Just ask New England. Or maybe we could ask someone a little less special. Uh, how about you, Tampa? Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck you, Vegas. In Vegas, that's the tension for making Tampa swear. Atlanta, drafting a running back as high as you did is typically frowned upon nowadays, but as far as I'm concerned, if you can add an explosive playmaker to a struggling offense, you do it. You also added some nice defensive help and some solid online additions. Overall, I can't complain. Nice job, Atlanta. I'm giving you an A-. minus. Wow, that's the second highest grade in the division. That's pretty good, huh, New England? 28-3. Okay, you know, you really don't have to do that every time I talk to you. Okay, that's class. AFC North, you're ready. You won the YouTube poll, so your draft grades will be handed out next time. Hey, uh, any idea where our division finished in that poll? Oh, uh, we finished dead last. Yeah, that's pretty much what I figured. Hey, by the way, I've been meaning to ask, where are your sleeves? Have you seen our new quarterback's arms? We never have to wear sleeves again.